Hey guys, hey focus, focus people on focus on Facebook with Coach MJ. How are you? So I am just kind of gonna go through a little bit about groups and stats and scheduling your posts. Just kind of get you guys a feel for being serious about your group being intentional, especially as far as the content that you're going to post, the times of the day that you're going to be active in your group, so that you know when your people are active in your group. So this is one thing that the new Facebook view has given us is these statistics, which are absolutely awesome, awesome, awesome. So you go over to your group and on the left hand side of your group, you're going to see your admin tools. And I want you to go down to the, um, um, oh, where is it? I think I just went by it. Go to the activity log, I believe it is. And then you're gonna go to group quality. Okay, well, not group quality. It's, um, you can select the dates. So let's say I want to check out my group's quality from the first week of January. Okay. And then over here, you can go and you can look at the content. So I'm going to go back up here, go back to the home page. And go down to um, growth. That's what I want to see. My insights. You want to go to insights, and you can click on the growth, and that'll give you the um, the toolbar, the graph, and the history of your membership. You know, like my group kind of was holding its own through the month of December, and then it started growing again. And this is right here, December fourteenth. That's where it started, and it went to January. But here you can go and pick, I want to look at the last 60 days. And then it'll show you from November 12th through January the 11th. And it gives you that growth. And this gives you the timeline, how many active members you had. Uh, this shows you 17 active members. And then it went to 28. And then it jumped down to 16 on the 16th. 17th and you can actually go up here and download the details and extract the details and when you do that it goes into an excel file and i have one here that i've got i was working on uh this one here is let me get this moved out of my way i know you guys can't see this but i have my own toolbar in my way so this one here that i ran from november 13th through January the 11th, it gives you your daily numbers. It shows you the number of posts, the number of comments, the number of reactions, how many active members were in the group on a daily basis on those days. Now this group I have has got 84 people in it. So when it's talking about active members, it's talking about people that went into the group. Facebook recognizes that even if they don't come into your group and take action, so if they just come in and view something and, and when you're in your group and you go over to a post and it says um, seen by, well, Facebook recognizes those as visitors to your group. So if you go here and you go, there's five comments on that post, 13 comments on that one, seen by 19. They, Facebook recognizes that, and that's going to be in your statistics. So they're giving you credit for those people, those active members are considered active members, okay? Now, what you can use this for is to determine how you want to reward your members. So go down here to popular days, and it tells you the days that the people were in the group liking, commenting, and reacting. Like here, Monday, there was 22, and that doesn't necessarily mean 22 people. There's 22 likes, comments, and reactions. Monday was the best day. Sunday was the next best day, which to me, or 20, Sunday was the best day. But for this week, Monday was the best day. 
and then uh, the end of the week, Sunday, which would be the beginning of a new week, and then uh, Saturday or Friday came up, and then Saturday, and so on and so forth. So that kind of gives you an idea of when people are in your group. And then this one here breaks out to the time of day that these people were active. Now I have another one here. <coughs> Oops. I was going to save it. <coughs> this this one here. It says, you know, the total number of members on S December 15th, I had 84 members. And then on December 17th, I had 83. And then December 19th, I had 84. Okay, so it tells you on a daily basis. And then on January the 11th, I have 85 members. So I increased my membership by uh, four new members during that time period. Okay, and according to this report, I have one sitting there waiting to get let in to the group as of the 11th and today's the 13th that I ran this report. And then over here, it's got the number of memberships declined. And then you've got 34 posts, you've got 213 comments during that time period, 183 reactions. And then on a daily basis, you got 51 active members. Out of the 84, that's a pretty good percentage guys on any one given day to have 51 members active. So that can kind of help you just kind of speak the truth about the activity going on in your group. And then this breaks it down to the days that they're most active. So this will tell you, for example, if you're gonna be running a Facebook Live show or a video or something, you wanna see if you can schedule it the day that they are most active in your group. And then this one here, I love this one the popular time of day that people are active in your group. So here I've got at uh, midnight, four people were active. One o'clock, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 12 p.m., 1 p.m. So my window is like 12 to 1 p.m. 12 to 2 p.m. actually, or 12 to 1 p.m. is they're the most active. And then it goes up to the days, you know, like how many were people were active. So that kind of gives you an idea of, if you're gonna schedule a post, I would schedule it like, if they're most active in your group at 1 p.m. and you're not physically gonna be in your group at 1 p.m., I'd schedule it for like 12.55. So it'll post five minutes to one, and hopefully people would jump in there and catch your post. Or maybe I wouldn't do 105. I would do like five minutes before the hour. I would do it. I would never post anything on the hour. I always try to do it like 105 or 116 or whatever. Okay. Do you get the idea? And then down here we got, <clears throat> they're active again at 6 p.m. That's about it. So they're most active in this group between 1 and 2 p.m. or 12 and 2 p.m. So 12 and 1 p.m. actually. So that would be the best time for me to be posting my content on the days when I am not physically active in the group. So if I wanted to schedule my posts during the week, now Mondays, so here we've got, because I've been in the group since the first full week of January committed to you guys, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 2 p.m. doing my Facebook Live. But look who's here, very little, okay? Monday, four. Wednesday, none. Uh, Friday, one. And now this, this, this isn't reflecting, I don't think this is reflecting today because this ended on the 11th. So today's the 13th. So, as, and it gives you the option to run some of these 68 days, but the um, actual activity of the actions of the exact people that are active in your group is done on a 28 day basis, regardless of when you run your report for your engagement. Okay, so this kind of helps me, it helps me a lot with understanding the habits of my people. Now, Mondays is saying that 10 people were in the group but I wasn't live until 2 p.m. So they were in the group an hour before. 
So I might want to think about changing. I'm going to be active in the group at 1 p.m. as opposed to the 2 p.m. that I have scheduled right now. Maybe finish out January and put up a post and say, you know, okay, guys, it looks like you're here either at 1 p.m. in the afternoon or whatever other time. So I'm going to change my Facebook Live time to 1 p.m., providing I don't have any clients on those days, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, which is fine. Right now, I don't. Um, I won't have anything going on until February, but it's a Tuesday, so I'm good with that. So this kind of helps me to decide how I'm going to schedule out my content in my group. And this can help you determine if you're going to book a party or schedule a party, what's the best time of day to do that when your people are active in your group. So you'll want to do this, guys, periodically. Run it, you know, minimum once every two weeks or something. It's 28 days. So maybe you decide you're going to run it. Like today is Wednesday. And... Um, just, you know, pick a day, you're going to do it every Friday, you're going to do it every Monday, you're going to do it every Sunday or whatever you're going to do. So you can get the stats and pull it out into an Excel file and keep it. And then if you decide you want to reward your audience for contributions, <clears throat> you can uh, post a post, you know, about here is the contributors. <clears throat> and as you can see, nobody is really contributing. This is all me. I'm the admin, so I'm the one creating the posts. We've got Amanda. She's got one post she created during that time period, Astra one, which was probably a Facebook Live that they did. So you guys need to get a little bit active if you want to be the winner. If I'm going to give away something for the person that is the highest contributor in creating posts and not just liking and commenting because you get extra points for creating a post. Yeah, I think that you know you would get points over here like the top contributor was Crystal. And then it was Amanda for likes and comments. But for posting, this would trump this because it's a post. So let's say I was given one point away for everybody that did a comment and five points for everybody that actually created a post. This would bump them up. So they would both be winners because I was thinking about doing three prizes every month and it would rotate out. So one of them is going to be a free coaching session every month. So if you want to get some free coaching and your top contributor every month, guess what? You could end up getting free coaching for six or eight months because you're top contributor in the group. Or at least get one free session every whatever, six months, three months, or whatever. Okay, guys? So anyway, that's, I just want to show this to you guys. And then this is the admins. And of course, I'm the only admin on here on this particular group. So I wanted to show that to you. So this is going to help me to determine the times of the day that I want to actually do my scheduling of my posts. So right now I have on January 16th, I've already scheduled out a post to post at 6.05 p.m. And the 16th happens to be a Saturday. And I've got it at 6.05. So I'm going to go back to <clears throat> Saturday and see what kind of activity is normally in my group. There's hardly ever any. It's like 10 p.m. So right now I'm just going to leave it at 6.05. And then maybe this next, this next, not this next, this coming week at 6 p.m. We're doing, um, yeah, we're not doing anything in this group. So maybe I'll change this coming, this the 16th. I'll go ahead and edit it and change it to 3 p.m. or 2.55. I'm going to update it to 2.55, 2.55 p.m. Because I didn't run this report before I did my post. And then the 17th is a Sunday. And Sundays, People are most active, it looks like, around the 3 p.m. Now, it, which is funny because I do a Facebook Live in this group on Sunday afternoons at 4 p.m., but people are showing up at 3. So I might have to change my Sunday schedule to 3 p.m. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that for this Sunday. I'm going to put that in there that I'm changing my uh, Sunday to 3 p.m. And then uh, when I go and do a post for the day... <clears throat> There's a few people there in the morning, like noon, 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 5 p.m., 
4 p.m., 6 p.m., and as far late as 8 p.m. So I might do um, on Sundays a 3 p.m. Facebook Live. I'm going to write this in my notebook here. Sunday, 3 p.m. Live, and then a post around... Uh, I could do any time between 5 and 7 p.m., 5 to 7. So I could do like 5.20 or something like that p.m. to create a uh, schedule a post. So I thought this was very interesting, very helpful for you guys uh, who are doing parties or who are doing, you know, you're trying to get the action going in your in your group and you don't know what people are doing. So you can export this out. It goes into a CVS file, which means if you've got uh, access to Word or uh, the free office, the free office suite, let me see. It is called, bear with me a moment here. Uh, move this out of my way. Oops, I can't. Okay. It's called Open Office. And you can go to Google and type in Open Office, download it. It's freeware. It you might have to learn it, but it you can create a Word document in it if you don't want to use Google Sheets and save it on your computer and you don't have to pay for a membership to use uh, this software. And I think it even has a spreadsheet in it as well, like Office 365, which you have to pay for a membership to access that um, software. So anyway, moving on. <laughs> so here I am in my group. And what I'm going to do is I am going to go back up here to the home of the group and click on the group so I can get back into the group, maybe click on it up here. And then here I'm going to what's on my mind, I'm going to create a post and I'm going to finish scheduling out my week of next week, which is July, July, January. Um, I got it written down here, 17th. And um, I'm going to put in, what's your favorite thing about yourself? Mine. I love helping people of all ages and um, drop an emoji just to give it a little bit of color and pick a background color let's see you don't want to do the same one all the time guys you want to change it up let's see how about this one how's that look what is your favorite thing about yourself? Mine, I love helping people of all ages. And then here is where you go. You've got add to your post, post. You want to go over here to the calendar and open it up. And this is going to be the 17th. So I'm going to click on that. That's Sunday. And I decided I want to post it at about... Um, I forgot what time I was going to post it. Let me go back to my spreadsheet. Bear with me, guys. Sunday. Best time was... I got 9, 10, 11, 2 p.m. Oh, that's right. I was going to change my Facebook Live to 3 p.m., Facebook Live in the group Sunday, 3 p.m. And then I'm going to do 5.55 for the scheduled post. So I'm going to go back to my spot here. And over here, I'm going to say 05.55. Oh, Maybe it won't, doesn't want the 05, 5, 55 p.m. Okay, so now I have my date, I have my time, and I'm going to schedule it. Okay, now 
if you wanted to change something on your scheduled post, all you have to do is go over here to where it says scheduled post, because I have five sitting there right now. So I've got this one going out. And the one that I wanted to change was the 16th, which is what's the number one action. So it doesn't tell you. It's got the 15th. Okay, the 16th. I've got it at 6.05. And I wanted to change the date to 2.55. So all you have to do is go up here to the three little dots, go reschedule the post, and I'm going to change it to 3.55 p.m. and reschedule it. So all you have to do... So if you, if you happen to just get distracted or whatever and you go back through and you see that you got two scheduled posts for the same day, that's all you have to do is to go in and change it. Okay, very simple. It's not difficult to do this, guys. And there's absolutely no reason why you can't sit here and schedule out your stuff for an entire week in a matter of, of 20, 30 minutes at the most if you, can't, if you don't get distracted. So that's what I wanted to show you guys today. And um, hopefully you are finding great value in our series about groups and getting some aha moments and some inspiration on this series. So make sure you're dropping in the comments anything that you need help with. And we'll see you on the next round. Have a very, very blessed evening. Bye-bye now.